What a couple of weeks we've had. You know, this time a couple of weeks ago, most of us didn't know what coronavirus was, or we certainly didn't have it in the forefront of our minds like we do now. But if you've seen the recent news, you know now that the president has called to extend the social distancing across the country a little bit longer through the end of April. It's been a couple of weeks now since we closed our office, and when we did that, we did so in faith. <clears throat> we wanted to do our part to lead our community to help flatten the curve, to help lessen the chance of spreading this virus. And we did that not knowing what was going to happen across the country. Later that very day, the CDC, the ADA, even the White House itself called for nationwide closing of dental offices. And we wanted to lead our community to do our part. <clears throat> we didn't know what that meant at the time. And we weren't really worried about spreading the virus from what we do or how we do it. Our dental office is incredibly clean. It's state of the art. In fact, we prepare our treatment rooms like hospital ORs. So we weren't worried about spreading the virus in that context. It was for us all about the people to people interactions. Whether the people we see, we shake hands with, dentistry is an intimate uh, profession. We work very closely with our patients. And so we wanted to protect them at all costs. And that meant closing our office. We're very blessed where we live that we haven't seen much exposure to the virus in our community yet. We hope and pray that remains the case. But it's quite likely by the time this is over that someone we know will be affected, someone you know will be affected, and we hope and pray that's not the case or certainly in a terrible way. We want to thank each of you, our patient family, for being with us through this time. We're here for you and we want to thank you for being with us. Some of you have been patients of ours for 30 years, some for three weeks, some aren't patients yet. But we look forward to meeting you in the future and seeing our other dear friends and family soon as well. So thank you again so very much for being patient with us. <clears throat> We're going to be here and ready to see you as soon as we possibly can. <clears throat> and please know that for us, it's not just a cliche. We really are all in this together. Hi, everyone. We are just coming on to check in with you guys. It has been two weeks since we have seen patients due to COVID-19. You can see that we are staying at home too to flatten the curve and to prevent the spread of this virus. With that being said, we miss seeing our team members. We miss seeing our patients every single day who are like family to us. We are staying up to date with the American Dental Association and the CDC so that um, as soon as new information is rolling out, we will be sending that on your way. We are thankful for our nurses, our doctors, medical staff out there that are helping those in need. But just remember that we all have a role when it comes to COVID-19. So whether you're homeschooling your children or going to an essential job duty every day, or just staying at home to prevent the spread, if we can all stick together, we can get through this together, hopefully faster and get back to a sense of normalcy sooner. So we've just got to use lemons to make lemonade and be positive and encourage one another through this time. Next, our practice administrator, Pam, will be on to let you know how Fisher & Citrus Dentistry are here for you during this time. So thank you guys for hanging in there with us, and we hope to see you soon. Hi everyone, this is Pam Kovar, Practice Administrator for Fisher & Zittrick Dentistry. I wanted to follow up with Dr. Fisher and Dr. Zittrick by letting you know a few ways that we're going to be able to keep in touch with our patients. The first way is through social media, so please make sure that you have liked our page on Facebook and you are following us on Instagram. It is Fisher & Zittrick Dentistry or FZ Dentistry. Um, you can uh, keep up with us there. We will post the latest updates as far as what this quarantine means for dentistry and when we can open our doors again. But just because our doors aren't physically open doesn't mean that we are closed for business. We have multiple ways that we are able to stay in touch with each other. So if you need us, please give us a call. Leave us a message on our general voicemail. You can also text us on that same number. It's 972-771-4000. We do have a member of our team checking messages daily and checking text messages. If you have a true dental emergency, something that could be life-threatening, we do want you to call us and let us know as soon as possible. So if you call our number again, 972-771-4000, 
During the voicemail, if you press extension one, that will direct you to our emergency voicemail. I am carrying the on-call cell phone that that will be directed to, and you and I and our doctors will be able to figure out what the best course of treatment is for you. Um, another way that we are able to keep in touch is through simple video chatting and FaceTime capabilities. So now we are able to FaceTime and Zoom with our patients. We can still do consultations. We can do smile makeover consultations. We can do just general dentistry questions and consultations. So if you need us, you can request that um, and we'd be happy to accommodate that during this time. We also have Invisalign patients who will be receiving their aligners via mail and will be able to set appointments up with myself and the doctor as needed for those Invisalign appointments. So just because our physical doors aren't open doesn't mean that we are closed for business. We are still here and we are able to video chat and do teledentistry, which is something we never thought would happen. So um, do your part to help flatten the curve. Please stay home and stay safe and healthy, uh, but know that we are here if you need us and we would be happy to help you. So I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and you stay safe and healthy and do your part to help in this time of quarantine. Thank you guys. Have a great day.